This is a 41 year old female contact lens wearer who five years ago, unfortunately had a pseudomonas infection. We don't have a lot of data of that original infection treated uh, in the hospital. Uh, she was told that uh, she had impending perforation. She did not receive uh, corticosteroids for about a week and then she started using some corticosteroids. She has been on no treatments for three years now and her visual acuity here is at the 2080 level. We can see the very significant scarring, uh, deep neovascularization here with a large vessel coming in at 12 o'clock almost and several finer vessels and uh, significant scarring, perhaps some lipid uh, deposition from uh, um, the neovascularization. And um, if we go and look uh, the eyes more carefully, we'll see a normal OCT thickness and epithelial map in the right eye. Uh, uneventful, we'll click on to the left eye and we'll see here uh, the section between the serious uh, scarring and how that is um, viewed by the OCT device. It's only reliable uh, until the opacity and we can see that this is about 100, 150 microns deep. The information here shows clear, but we, we do not know that because it's shielded by the anterior opacity. The thickness maps here, fortunately, are not bad. 615, 617, um, and uh, surprisingly, uh, little epithelial remodeling compared to what we would expect. We're gonna go see the Pentacam map now uh, and see how irregular that cornea has become. Topographically, we're reading seven diopters of astigmatism. Again, good thickness, and let's look at the other eye. The Pentacam, um, normal here, just uh, one and a half diopters with real astigmatism, good thickness. So we'll go back to the original pictures, how will we um, approach this patient needs therapeutic, maybe refractive surgery. Uh, obviously the first choice would be to do a cornea transplant. We ad advise the patient to entertain the possibility of a phototherapeutic keratectomy, a PTK, to um, uh, take out the uh, superficial scarring, correct perhaps some of the significant refractive error and um, with a chance uh, over 60% you may need a second procedure and a goal of about 20, 30 vision. If that is achieved with um, a phototherapeutic approach, we would uh, consider it a success. If not, obviously a penetrating keroplasty option always remains open. Uh, clinical dilemma here from our office in Athens. This is John Kenlopoulos signing out. Thanks so much.